All right, what we're going to show you here today is around uh, the Internet of Things and how we can take that premise, of which is widely talked about in the press, out towards a corporate marketplace. So from FSI, we've created a, an office layout, effectively enabling us to place sensors, which are widely used within the corporate world, such as lighting, or humidity, temperature, and equally actionable call logs, and take that through into our concept evolution product set ultimately coming out through to an actionable output. So if I, just to walk you through, you know, sensory data isn't something that's new to the marketplace. Sensors have, have been outputting data for a number of years, where the technology and products such as Concept has enabled us now to, to capture, to understand what that data is, and equally to have an actionable output towards that. So from the sensors that we're including on our model, we have humidity, to understand how that's affecting the, the office market space. Temperature. We have our control elements, such as AV requests. We have an unmanned help desk. So we have infrared sensors requesting when someone walks into our building, we can have a process that sits behind that, alerting the individuals that are required. From our plant room, we have vibration analysis. So again, should a certain asset or should an engine or a have work outside a certain tolerance, our engineers can be informed before the actual problem arises. Lighting controls, and in the days where we now we're conserving energy and we're more and more concerned around our consumption elements, making sure lighting isn't turned on when no one's present within the occupation of that room. The final element is around where we are with water. Water and technology don't tend to mix too well. So understanding if we do have any potential leaks, how again we can make sure that we jump on those leaks and make sure that there's actionable outputs towards that. What we have in the back screen is effectively a graphical output of our model, but also with the elements and the alerts and how they're captured. What we're going to take you through now is just maybe one or two scenarios and how they can be taken through from the initial capture through to the illustration and then out to the engineer that's doing the work. Carl. The scenario that uh, we're going to take here is around uh, water detection. So we're going to look for water being detected, maybe for a ceiling or even underneath, particularly in this example here of a server room. What we're going to do is we're going to take an improvise using our uh, water here. What this is going to do now is going to trigger, as John said, through our live view product, a visual representation of that task. Now as this refreshes, we're capturing this, we're passing that data through into concept, and that is now going to trigger an activity within LiveView. And that's going to be represented on the screen, and then passed down through to FSI Go for the engineer to actually manage and resolve that problem. You can see on the screen now the one that's been represented in the corner here, that's picked up that sensor. We've picked up the data, we've picked up the alarm. We've now passed that through to concept, and it's automatically been passed out to FSI Go for the engineer and then we can demonstrate that over on the FSI GO device. So once the engineer has then received the job, we're then looking at walking through a process around capturing all the information. We know whereabouts the, the location of the problem is and equally the asset in question. From there we can work through a step process, capturing all the relevant information needed from a corporate standpoint out to the engineer in terms of capturing pictures, information that's associated maybe documentation that they need to actually go and work through the problem. So from here we can accept the task and we can walk through a number of key elements all the way through to when we actually arrive and complete the job and so forth. What we'll also walk you through as well is um, how we can then start to maybe take this premise and move this out into a car park scenario, one of the biggest banes of any given corporate. But by using sensory data we can then start to understand, maybe if we can move to our parking model, and as that flicks through, maybe we can understand in terms of when their spaces are free. Rather than relying on wardens, barriers and so forth, it allows us to become far more agile. So currently as well, what we can then start to see is that just by that removal, we have free spaces available within our building waiting for people to come and take that space and move that through. So in effect, with the Internet of Things and how we can combine that with a, with a concept evolution, it's the ability of capturing data from anything, anywhere, 
and making that recognisable, actionable as an output for it to be fixed.